The task I found the most challenging was the shibori. Shibori involves various blinding, folding, twisting, or compressing techniques to create patterns before dyeing fabric. It requires precision and careful manipulation of the fabric to achieve the desired design. Additionally, there are different kinds of shibori techniques to learn, such as the tamjam shibori, arash shibori, or kanoto shibori, with each with its own complexities. Mastering these techniques will require practice and experimentation. The task I found the most engaging was the shimanshi. It is a traditional Japanese marbling technique that involves floating ink on the surface of water, transferring it onto paper. The process is mesmerizing and unpredictable, creating a unique, one-of-a-kind design. It allows for creativity and experimentations with different colors and patterns. Shimangshi can be meditative and therapeutic art form, providing a low-stress hobby to explore. The most applicable task to me would be block printing. Block printing is a technique used to create repeating patterns on fabric or paper used to carve blocks. It offers the ability to print on various surfaces, including fabric, which aligns with my interest in textiles and fashion. The customized nature of block printing allows for unique designs that can be applied to clothing or home decor. My mom's an interior designer, so she's seen this a lot. The skill of block printing can be useful in creating personalized and visual appealing products. Block printing and shibori are useful and helpful in the real world. Block printing can be applied to various industries such as textile design, fashion or interior design, or even graphic design. It allows for creation of custom patterns and prints that can be used in the production of development or artistic expression. Shibori, on the other hand, offers unique, intricate patterns on fabric that can be used in fashion, home decor, textile art. Both techniques have historical and significance, persevering traditional craftsmanship while offering creative possibilities and contemporary applications. If I had the chance, I would have done more experimentation and practice with the shibori technique. Shibori offers a wide range of possibilities in creating patterns and designs on fabric, and by exploring these techniques and variations, I would have developed a deeper understanding of the craft. Additionally, I would have taken the opportunity to learn from practitioners or attend workshops to gain more insights and refine my skills, and maybe I still can. I believe I did well with my lessons because I approached them with curious and open mindset, and I was willing to learn and explore new techniques, which allowed me to absorb the information effectively. I also took notes and paid attention to demonstrations provided in the videos, ensuring I'd understand a step-by-step process. Additionally, I believe that my enthusiasm for the subject matter contributed to my success in grasping the concepts and techniques taught to me in class. I found Unifor overall very...